Good Monday afternoon, everybody. How are you? I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I know I had a very restful one. I hope everyone watching is. Uh, I'm going to give it a couple minutes so people can say how do you do's and welcomes. Um, I'll be right back in one quick second. Get a drink of water. Hello, hello. Mm. Make sure you're well hydrated, folks. Always get hydrated. Okay. So, very, very busy week um, through via Kickstarter. So, I've loaded up a bunch of really neat and very beautiful uh, books for you guys that we're offering. And this is all on the eBay store. Pretty much everything you'll find uh, should be on the first three or four pages um, when you click on the link. That's where you should find most of the items, including the few items I have on there that are to bid. Uh, for those of you just joining us, we do things slightly different. We don't do callbacks. Hi, Miguel. How are you? I'm waving at you. Um, just go ahead and click on the links, and that'll get you to all of the things we are offering today. This is a Kickstarter item that I loaded up on eBay. This is the La Muerta Ascension. This is our jeweled edition. It has Swartzky crystals inlaid along here. Jeweled editions, um, they are another u really unique thing I think we offer to the public when it comes to Kickstarters and exclusive uh, covers and whatnot. Another ring from La Muerta. This is from the Retribution. This is the homage edition. This is the homage of the first appearance of Punisher. He's Loco, the Barrio Batman. I hope you're recuperating well. <laughs> uh, next up, I have a metallic cover. This is for La Muerta Retribution. This is the metal cover. Got a few of these up. Really gorgeous piece. I, I almost uh, would love to see this one jeweled also. This would look like a really nice jeweled cover. Let's have one of these. This is on our eBay store. <clears throat> Don McTague. And it was crazy. Um, some of the additions we offered for the Artist Celebration were like gone in less than 60 seconds or something ridiculous. Um, so... Go ahead and click on the Lady Death store. It should be on one of the links I've put on this page and definitely go scoop some up. Um, whatever's left. I know a lot of stuff did sell out, but we do have a lot of cool stuff uh, that Don Mateek has done for us in the past. Next up, this is another Kickstarter edition. This is a hardcover. This is volume one of the La Muerta series. Don't have very many left, so I uploaded the, some of these onto our eBay store. I think maybe about three or four copies. But what's another thing that's really... Another really beautiful hardcover. We've, this is a Micron cover. This is La Muerta Vengeance. These are our Kickstarter editions. This is chapter three have about three or four of these listed right now. Hi, Matthew Davis, how are you? Thank you for joining today. Hope you had a really good weekend, Matt. Did you do anything special uh, for your weekend at all? Please let me know. It's always fun to hear what other folks are doing. Um, I've been gardening. So uh, I got some lettuce growing <laughs> in my kitchen. We got some sunflowers and some other uh, little plants uh, we started growing in our front porch. So I think next weekend we're looking to do some more planting, maybe some cucumbers and tomatoes. So it's a edition. I made sure I did pre-censoring. Lots of censoring on that one. And I have a few of these and these were links to our um <clears throat> excuse me to our Lady Death store, which I highly recommend, Lady Death Universe. Um there you can find some really cool stuff, uh, hats, buttons, uh, challenge coins, challenge coin sets, which um, are also really popular, and we only have a few of those sets left, so definitely click at the uh, Lady Death Store and check out some of the other cool things we're offering there for you. 
Apocalyptic Abyss. This is the Hell Witch Edition. I have a couple of these up on the eBay store right now. And this was um, something that was offered after the Apocalyptic Abyss. Another beautiful jeweled edition. And jeweled edition. Real Schwarzfeld crystals. They just don't show up right because I got the gosh. Okay. I'm starting to clean up each week. I thought I was like um, too clean shaven for folks like you, Miguel. Gosh, <laughs> I actually purposely didn't shave just for the audience and my wife. This is the Hell Witch Gallery number one. This is a risque seductress edition. Shout out on what this is homaging. Um, classic, classic, classic. It's the homage. Marat Michaels. I think I got about three of these up on the eBay store right now. And this is homage uh, that was a treasury edition in the 70s. It was the first DC Marvel crossover. Um, and that was between Superman and Spider-Man. And treasury editions, for those who don't know, were giant sized comics about yay big. Um, really big, really huge. I had a couple as a kid. Uh, the, one of the most famous ones was Superman was a Wizard of Oz. And while they were working with that, um, they came up with the idea to have Superman and Spider-Man crossover. I believe that was like 76. Zodiac. This is the Naughty Celestial Edition. Editioned. I found one of these, so I only have one left. And this is it. She's on our eBay store right now. So this is your chance to get a really... Beautiful print, another kind of early. These listed right now on our eBay store. These were previously Kickstarter editions. Again, just click um, during this whole situation where pretty much all, uh, majority of everything should still uh, be available. So next up we have the old, real gorgeous piece. I also love the nice foil embellishments we do along the uh, piece of art along with the hilt of the sick lady death merciless onslaught hardcover i believe this is done by paulo Pantlania. i'm sure i'm saying that wrong there this is the hardcover edition of merciless onslaught if i'm correct that is volume five in the lady death coffin comic series Hey, Haley, how are you today? How are you and the husband feeling, by the way? I hope everyone... Oh, I'm probably going to have to do it again, so that's probably on my end, Miguel. Um, for some reason, um, some days it's great, some days it's not. Um, in the neighborhood I have, we have that, so it doesn't happen next week. Another hardcover edition of Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. Again, all this stuff, click on the links and head to the eBay store. Um, pretty much all the items I'll be showing you today is of the eBay store. Another hardcover of the Nightmare Symphony. It's another hardcover edition we offer on our regular store, so we definitely wanted to try to keep it um, there and what have you. A couple other really fun things I found. And so far, this is the last one. This is the Unholy Ruin Mega Foil Edition. Really beautiful foil cover. And I, this is the last one I found while I was doing my digging around. Ace, welcome back. How are you doing, man? Ace, has the temperatures gone up where you're at or if they continue to go lower? Because I know last week you told me it was pretty chilly out um, in your parts. Ace, did you stay at home? Is you learn new things, and I'm learning gardening. So, 
It looks like my black thumb is turning green. So, yay! Let's hopefully I don't kill our lettuce. Don't want to kill the lettuce. All right. Another awesome item, and this is the eBay store. This is my last copy. Really cool die cut cover. When you open it up, you can see all the rot on his face and all the nastiness that is Jason Voorhees. This is the premium foil cover. I have a couple of these left. And I really, 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 really love the foiling on the mask. It's really nice piece, really nice piece. I love uh, pulling up a lot of these older books. Um, but unfortunately, with the Avatar stuff, it's all up. So whatever's up there is what's left. I did hold back uh, some copies just in case things get damaged in the mail. I can at least have a replacement. Um, but um, I'll be loading up more as we continue. Um, got some really cool stuff for next week. Some really cool, uh, low-numbered, exclusive covers. So... Um, I'm looking forward to showing you guys that because it'll probably be, um, if all goes well, I will be back in the office uh, first week of May. Next up, I have the Friday the 13th Jason versus Jason X. This is the terror cover, and this is another one that is my last copy. So Jason versus Uber Jason. I actually was watching... Um, Some guy does a show called Kill Counts, and he counts how many people were killed in each movie. And I was watching the Friday the 13th series, and oh my god. Some of the one movie, there was like 25 people killed in one movie. It's crazy, and he breaks it down by who died. It's called Body Counts, so I really enjoyed watching wise So if you see something, scoop it up. Um, grab them if you see them. Um, there has been a couple. No, I do not, unfortunately, but... Um, if I find more, I'll definitely post it. So thank you everyone who's been messaging me and um, asking me to find things for them. It's always fun to do. Also still on the Jason X, uh, Juan Jose Rip did this cover. <clears throat> mm. Use my voice again today. Ace, you just now, what'd you think of it? Did you enjoy it? just for the TV version, so loved it. Next up, we have another Jason X special number one. This is the headless cover. It was only seven, no, twelve fifty made of this one. I have a few of these right now on the eBay store. We're on the subject of slashers and uh, 80s horror um what's some of your guys' favorite horror films that you like watching like what's what's your number one your go-to that whenever you want to show someone a horror film as well also offering the jason x platinum left not many like i say um if you're a fan of jason and freddie Leatherface. Um, this episode I dedicate to rent it to us. We have the uh, Coffin Comics Shopping Network. I showed some of those uh, slasher ones um, on my first episode. Um, so some of these are probably some things you have uh, familiar with seeing um, and probably quite a few new stuff as well. And then we have the wraparound cover of Jason X special. Nightmare on Elm Street 1, yeah, that's a really good one. Um, I remember the first time I saw that, my older stepsister um, and her boyfriend rented it, and my folks weren't home, so she let me watch it, and it was one of the few films um, from that time, from like 84, that really scared the crap out of me. It was like, wow, this... This movie is scaring the bejeebus out of me. You know, Friday 13th, it's like, okay, kind of know what to expect. But first time I saw um, Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah, it really scared the crap out of me. Um, really damn good movie. You have good taste, man. 
Speak even Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid number one. There you go, Ace. Something that might interest you. Freddy Krueger comics. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got a couple of these up and ready for all you guys to scoop up. I think either the first one, first, third, and new. Um, I kind of like how it left you guessing is like, was Freddy innocent or is he guilty? And those who haven't seen it, just watch it. It's, it's actually bad, um, especially if you're uh, for the Michael Bay remakes. I thought it was halfway decent. We have The Nightmare on Elm Street. Number one, this is the Paranoid Gore cover. Can I see who's in your profile picture right now? Let me see. Oh! Is that that one? Oh, God, why am I having such a brain fart? I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old days. I'll tell you what. Um, Robert England. Nice. He's somebody that I've done a couple horror to do any of the signed autograph ones at one of those shows. Um, I think they do Mad Monster here. It's fun at those horror cons. They're a blast. Here we go. We have a Platinum Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid Numero Uno. It's my Platinum. Maybe one or two. Not a lot. The things, things are really, really popular, so... Um, I'm not surprised with how low of the stock levels I was on everything because it's crazy. Next up, uh, this is the Terror Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid Number One Terror Cover, Juan Jose Rip, and I really love these covers he did for the Nightmare on Elm Street ones, like especially when they did the. Uh, foil uh platinum foiling on the text and i especially loved it that they did it on the gloves too it's, uh, it just makes it that more tantalizing to want to buy oh here we go this is paranoid number two number two of paranoid nightmare on elm street One thing I wish I could do on these shows is, um, <clears throat> I wish I could play some music, but I know with the algorithms and stuff like that, you can't play certain music, so. Oh well, I'll try to hum a tune I'll make up along for you guys. Nightmare on Elm Street, number two gore cover of Paranoid. It's a nice, gruesome cover. This would have been cool. Street 2, Paranoid, Platinum Foil, and everything here is on our eBay store. So just go ahead and click on the links, and they sh everything I'm offering today should be on the first um, three to four pages. And then once um, all this Avatar stock is gone, that's it. Chainsaw Massacre, The Grind, numero uno. Hey Dave, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Everything here you can find on our eBay store. Just go ahead and click on the links. Everything will be on the first three to four pages. Um, I've uploaded nearly 500 items, so there is a lot of different stuff to check out. Uh, a lot of new stuff, a lot of exclusive stuff, Kickstarter stuff, and also some of the classic stuff from Chaos, Avatar, and um, CrossGen is uh, going to be loaded up on Monday, too. Here we go. This is one of my favorite finds. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the Blood Red Foil. I only have, and it's still sealed and has its little COA in the back. It's only a 1,000 printed of this. Um, doing the research, there was some other really... Uh, if anyone's a fan of 80s horror, or in this case, um, leather, covers i wish i had some to show you all but you know, this stuff just does not last um especially the the horror stuff this stuff was really popular back in the day when they were coming out when brian was 
writing a lot of these. Uh, I always remember ordering them because I knew if Brian had anything to do with it, it was going to be good. Also, this is the grind. And this is the last of the last of this stuff. Dude, yeah, Swornfest, I can't wait uh, for that. That's going to be a really fun event. Um, for those who don't know, we're doing our second little convention. We did one last year called Fiendfest, which was hugely successful. Probably one of the most funs I've had at a con ever. Um, and not only that, it's just, it's just Fiends and the Sworn. Um, real centralized for all you hard. So we throw in some a lot of really fun um, stuff in the uh, swag bags we kind of offer on these events. And also, it's just a good opportunity to maybe meet um, and um, hang out with fiends and the sworn that, you know, maybe you've only interacted them through, um, you know, Facebook or, you know, any of the other social medias. But it's a good chance to meet up these people from all over the world. They all come together. They all love a lot of the same things. Um, it was really cool. We actually had a um, little bargaining table so you can trade in uh, some stuff for other things people were. Um, there should be a link right there. Just click on the Sworn Fest tickets and it has the whole another Juan Jose rip cover. In the office and I can actually, uh, and just the friendliest bunch of people here at the CCSN. So thank you very much for joining me. There's a classic character that is now part of the Coffin Verse. This is War Angel. This is the Fiery Reaper cover. This is issue one. And this is a real early um, Richard Ortiz cover. So, hey, North actually my mother's family's maiden name. So I wonder if somewhere down the road we were related somehow. Uh, my family, my mom's side of the family came from Kentucky. So they were part of the farmer family from that uh, part of the world. Again, real early Richard Ortiz piece. There was only 700 of these, I believe, were published. And let's see what else do we got here. Another wonderful foil cover. It's the War Angel number one. This is a gold foil cover. I think I only had one or two of these left. And these are all you can find on our eBay store. And War Angel is one of the characters that is still with us here at Coffin Comics. And she is uh, part of the Sworn. So if you want to pick up some really cool early, early War Angel issues, I have uh, issues one, two, and three. These cover, this is the War Angel. This is Hell's Bell. There was only 750 of these. It is really cool to, to be going through a lot of this old Avatar stuff. Um, because I'm seeing like Richard Ortiz's name on here. It's like, oh, he, he does covers uh, for us still to this day. Um, these names, see some of their early works, and here we are 15 years later, and they're here with us at Coffin, and it's always fun to show you some of the earliest works that they've done. It's always fun finding those nice little... The War Angel Premium Edition. I believe Walter Giovanni did the cover of this. I have about two or three of these on here. Um, we have at Coffin Comics uh, what I have been featuring the last few weeks uh, since we've been working from home has been stuff we've been uploading on our eBay store um, our eBay store has tons of stuff mostly a lot of the older another really beautiful War Angel number one this is the well nice price stuff again everything you see here is stuff that I've uploaded on the eBay store so Ace, if we have time to kick back during Sword Fest, I'm sure I'm going to be busy, you're going to be busy, and anyone else going out to Sword Fest, maybe we should have like a, a, a movie night or something um, in someone's room, Let's watch some slasher films, have a couple drinks, party downstairs. Um, I'm looking forward to the karaoke. I think we're looking at maybe doing some karaoke at Sworn Fest. I mean, still early. We're still almost a year out, but it's going to be a lot of fun, and you guys should be there for it. I know I am. 
All right, so some of the stuff I have uploaded onto the eBay store this past week, early war angel stuff. These are all stuff on the eBay store. Uh, when you click on the links, it should be the first three to four pages should have all the newest items I've loaded, loaded up. Um, here's the premium cover to War Angel number one. A couple of these. Ace, I'm down two. Friday 13th. I also put up the earth I put up and um, some other really beautiful jeweled and metal uh, edition covers that were previously available on Kickstarter. Some more War Angel. This is the Juan Jose Rip cover. Friday the 13th, Jason versus Jason X. This is the Terror cover. I say I only have uh, one or two of these left. And then we also have uploaded today the La Muerta Homage cover done by Marat Michaels. That's the homage to the first appearance of Pumasher. I almost said Pummelusher. Other things that was uploaded, if you just joined us, this is the Jason X special number one. La Muerta Retribution. This is the metal cover. Really beautiful. Beautiful cover. Love those metal covers. I have a feeling I'll be... Working on some more metal covers coming up for everyone, so can't wait to show you some of the cool stuff we got coming your way. Jason X special number one. This is the gore, and I also uploaded a lot of volume one descent. We also have the Jason X special headless edition. And again, another again, hardcover graphic novel, 48 pages. This is chapter two of the La Muerta series. Everyone knows I'm into the shiny things. I love my shiny things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Hi, Jerry Lynn. Five and seven. Five-year-old, she is probably the best representation of a modern-day Wednesday Adams. She likes those creepy dolls. She will adore them and cradle them, and they say the most demented things. Um, she loves the whole Annabelle movies. She loves all the Conjuring movies, and she's six. She loves this stuff. It doesn't scare her. Seven-year-old, he says he's into that stuff, but he gets scared, and she laughs at him. So... Um, yeah, you got good taste. You got good taste. <laughs> Even at a young age, you had good taste in films. So I have the Jason X Platinum Foil, special one. And also the La Muerta Hardcover Vengeance. Hi, Bob. How are you? Phoenix, of course. I even had some folks that were watching from uh, Australia. So it's always great to uh, give a shout out and see where everyone's viewing from. Since we got everyone around the world watching us at times. So a Jason X terror cover. The La Muerta Retribution hardcover edition. These are all things you will find on the eBay store. Just click on the link. I'll take you right there. And like I say, everything on the that I'll be showing you today should be on the third and fourth pages. One, two, three, four. Those first four pages are all the newest stuff. I also uploaded the Jason X special wraparound cover and the Hell Witch Hellborn Risque Edition. This was also a Kickstarter, previously Kickstarter item. In my head, I need to remember, I need to listen to some Beretta theme music just to change it up a bit i got some weird 70s television going on in my head another thing you uploaded on ebay is the nightmare on elm street issue one paranoid and then i also uploaded the hell witch say so everyone all this stuff is on the ebay store click on the links and go 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 oh 
I also uploaded, I only had a few of these. Um, TIG. I wish I could get these crystals to really sparkle. But right here are Schwartz. Schwartzky Chris. I saw one of these. Um, I was doing a show of uh, Phoenix Comic Con in 2015 uh, for Coffin, uh, working for Brian and Fran. And I, again, like everything else we do, I'd never seen anything like this before. And I, I'm so happy I get to work for a company where we're always doing something fun, something unique for people that like to collect. And jeweled edition, metal jeweled editions. Metal editions, I mean, homages. We do some really great books, and they're beautiful, and we make stuff really collectible for all y'all. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. We got the platinum cover for Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid one. And I also uploaded the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. This is the Hell Witch edition. We only published 125. I believe I was able to get uh, two onto the eBay store right now. So I have a couple of these available. And also have the Cauldron Hellwitch Hellborn. This is the Cauldron cover. And when I'm able to, I will definitely, um, once I get some more of the newest uh, Forsaken, the new Hellwitch stuff, I will definitely really quickly. I also have the Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid 1 Terror cover. Few copies of these. And this one I only have one on. I believe I'm doing bids on this one. This is the Lady Death Naughty Capricorn. This is a pinup book for secrets. And it also has some really cool text on the back that tells you all about the signed Capricorn. So this, it's a beautiful pinup artwork from many artists that have done covers for us in the past. And this is the last one I could find of the Naughty Capricorn edition. And then I also have issue two of Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid. I like how this looks as a foil cover, it's just beautiful. Couple other things. We have the Lady Death Zodiac. This is the, and it is signed. I have three signed, and they have the little COAs in the back. So these are signed by Brian, the copies I put up. I also have Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid number two gore cover. Yeah, this is a really beautiful piece. The Lady Death Zodiac books is um, really unique, really beautiful art, and it's something that, um, I wouldn't, if anyone's into astrological signs and a big Lady Death fan, pick up the Lady Death Zodiac. It's got some beautiful art. It also gives an explanation of the symbols um, and whatnot. But yeah, gorgeous book, gorgeous book. But what do you else do you expect from Coffin Comics? Only the best for you guys. Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the Platinum Foil. Paranoid number two. Then another awesome homage. It's a great homage of uh, Hell Witch versus Lady Death, which is the homage to the first Marvel DC crossover back in the 70s when it was Superman meets Spider-Man. I also have the Nightmare on Elm Street Fear Book. And I also have the Hell Witch Gallery. This is the Brisque Seductress Edition. Only 125 were published. And I think I have a couple up there. And I did better with the sensor set bars this time around. They didn't fall off. Mwahaha. Well, I figured it out. Figured it out. <clears throat> I got it under 10 minutes. I've also put up some of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the grind number ones. And this is the Lady Death hardcover for Chaos Rules. This is chapter one of the Lady Death Coffin comic series. So definitely grab them. I got about uh, three I was able to post onto the eBay store. Hey, Dane Ellington, how are you? Thank you for joining us today. 
And again, I hope everyone's been having a really good week, had a really good weekend. I hope everyone had a, a beautiful Monday. Um, it's really nice out here in Arizona. Um, it's starting to get a little too hot. So if any of you guys have rain or wet weather, can you send it my way by the weekend or something? Just thought I'd ask. Be nice to break up that sunshine. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the Blood Red Foil Edition. I only had one of these. Also put up the Damnation Game Hardcover Edition. This is Chapter 2 of Lady Death at Cough Comics. <clears throat> I also have a gold foil. Texas Chainsaw Massacre uploaded on those. I only had one of these left. And I also put up the very beautiful my chrome cover of the Oblivion Kiss Lady Death. This is chapter four of the Coffin Comics series. So this is the hardcover edition. Also have more of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the terror cover for the girl. Lady Death Merciless Onslaught. This is the hardcover edition. You see, it's still in its original shrink wrap. Hardcover of Unholy Ruin. Again, everybody, if you're first time in, just click on the links I have to the side. Everything I'm showing you here is uploaded on our eBay store. And there's also links to the uh, Lady Death store as well. This is the Fiery Reaper cover that he did. And also loaded up the hardcover of Apocalyptic Abyss. <coughs> I'm gonna step away real quick to get a drink of water because I'm losing my voice again. Some other really beautiful pieces. War Angel number one. And yes, this is the character. Oh, good. Yeah, anyone else? Um, friend me on Facebook, Hooligan Moraga, and uh, send me pictures of your collection. I really want to see what you guys have and um, you know what kind of stuff you guys are into collecting. It doesn't have to be Lady Death. It could be regular comic books. It could be monster stuff records i just want to see what you guys are into collecting because um it's always great to see uh what everyone is into and what their passions are it's it's just something i like to do and who knows maybe i can find something that's like hey i noticed you collect this um i have this if you're interested but this is the war angel gold foil cover this is issue one and she is the same character that uh was introduced in the coffin comic comics we reintroduced her, let's see, chapter seven, chapter eight. Beautiful mega foil edition, Unholy Ruin. Gorgeous, gorgeous cover, just gorgeous. This is my last copy that I have been able to find so far. Another early Richard Ortiz book. This is War Angel Hell's Bell cover. I think I have one or two of these that I was able to get my hands on, but this is really early. Uh, Richard Ortiz book from, I wanna say 2008, maybe earlier than that. And then Friday 13th, this is the die cut cover for Bloodbath. This is my very last copy. Um, I really love this cover. It's pretty cool. I, I love it when I was able to find some things like this, but yeah, you open it up and there's your ugly, gory face right there. There's the mask and not all the holes are punched out. So some of the holes are actually still on the back cover. So if you pop those out, you'll see more of his art if you want to do that. But 
really, really cool, unique cover. Um, and, you know, I'm a big horror fan nut. Um, I grew up in the 70s and 80s, so I love this slasher stuff. And it's always fun when I can find stuff like that because I just get to geek out all I want. So I only have a couple more minutes, and then uh, I'm going to leave you guys. Um, a couple other things I uh, re up some numbers on. Um, re up my numbers on the Unholy Ruin homage by Ma Marat Michaels. Add another copy or two to the stock levels there. Then I also added another hollow foil done by Don McTeague. So I had another one of these, so I uploaded it into my inventory. So I believe I was down to two, so I should to be up to three on that so far. Um, but I want to say thank you, everyone. I hope everyone had a great week. I hope you have an even better weekend coming up. And I'm Hooligan. I'm sworn to you, fiends. And thank you very much, Ace. Again, my name's Hooligan Moraga. Thank you for watching the Coffin, Com Coffin Comics Shopping Network here on CBSN. Everyone have a great day, and I'll talk to you next Monday. Bye now.